Hi everyone. So today we will be looking at the new network auto discovery feature in ARIA operations for networks. So I'm logged into ARIA operations for networks home page and starting 6.10, we have added a new tab under settings and accounts and data sources page. So we'll see a device auto discovery tab. So the discovered devices tab will show a summary of all the discovered devices like the firewalls, routers that needs attention and how many have been added. Also, you see a complete list of the devices that have been discovered so far. The first step uh, is to create a discovery profile. A discovery profile is basically a mechanism which will let you discover a device and it lists all the profiles uh, defined by the admins. So let us create a discovery profile. So here you have to define the scope first. Uh, you can either use the seed IP discovery method where you basically specify the seed router IP and then you specify the discovery depth, so maybe five, right? So this, this way the devices are recursively discovered using the CDP and LDP protocol up to the discovery depth that we would define here. And the other option supported is the scan IP range uh, where you can perform discovery based on subnet IP range. So you can specify subnets like, uh, it supports multiple combinations like 192.168.1.25. Less 24, it supports the CIDR format, or you can also specify like, uh, if you want to specify a specific range, then you can give it like 192.168, 10.100, and you can also add some ex exclusions where, say, suppose you don't want to uh, want ARIA networks to um, discover specific IPs, then you can also specify those. Dot 11, so that way it won't discover the specific IP and it will uh, discover rest of the. Uh, IP is here. So this is the scan IP range thing. Uh, again, you can also specify single IP as well. One comma, you can also just uh, separate it by commas. So you can put uh, multiple IPs can be entered this way. And then you have to select the right collector, which will do the discovery for you. So one thing to ensure is the collector is placed in a subnet with access to these network elements. So that needs to be discovered and can is able to connect using the SNMP and uh, SSH protocols. So once we have defined the scope, the next step is to define the access credentials. So this access section is where you specify the access credentials like SSH, SNMP, community string details, and this will be used for authenticating during the discovery process of the device. So if the credentials work, the device will be discovered and presented to the user. So it supports the API access. This is specifically for the F5 uh, load balancers. And uh, you also see SNMP version two, where you can specify uh, the SNMP uh, community string. So we do credits. And then you can also add more like SSH um, and you can specify the SSH credentials here. So this way you will be able to add those credentials, access details. And the next step is to, uh, is the scheduling uh, policy. This is where you uh, want to decide like how often you want to run this discovery, whether you want to run it once or, or keep it recurring on a daily basis or a weekly basis, right? So these combinations are available. So you can run these discoveries based on this. So once you have defined this profile, you can just go ahead and save it. So right now we have created two profiles here. So I'll just quickly go over that. So here you can see like uh, this, this profile is basically based on scan IP range where I'm actually uh, scanning a specific subnet range. And uh, I've also entered the access credentials, SSH and SNMP version two. And I can see the, uh, the frequency that I'm running. I've just run selected once. And so based on this, it has discovered uh, so many devices in my network. So the discovered devices step basically shows the complete list of discovered devices. You will see those IP addresses of the uh, network name. You'll see the DNS host name. You'll see the protocols used to connect. In this case, you can see like uh, it detected using SSH, but here it detected using SNMP and SSH. Uh, then you'll see those uh, vendor details, the device type model, the collector used to run this discovery and the profile that was used to discover this device 
and whether this device was added into the system or not. The ready to add tab basically shows all the discovered devices that satisfy all the requirements for a data source addition. It means that they are properly discovered and are good to be added into monitoring. The needs attention section basically shows devices that are not properly discovered. So there are some errors possibly due to wrong credentials or unsupported device type, or if the collector is having issue during the discovery. So in this case, you can see like this is a F5 load balancer. We discovered using SNMP, but we still have to um, update the API uh, credentials here. So which you can do by getting into actions, edit and add tab. And then you can specify the API credentials and add so that will discover the device properly. So the devices which need attention, you won't see an option to even add it to the system here until you fix those errors. And then you have the excluded section basically shows all the devices identified as unknown where the discovery process couldn't identify the vendor type or the device type. So to proceed with the data source addition, we get into the ready to add tab and click the add as source button. So say suppose I want to add this device, I, I select this one, and then I have the option to add as data source. So that will go ahead and add it as a data source. I also have multiple options here. Say suppose I want to uh, edit some changes, make some changes here and add before adding it into a system, I can do that as well. Say suppose I want to change the collector type or say suppose I want to uh, modify the uh, polling intervals. Says I don't want it to be polled like every 10 minutes, but maybe at a fixed interval or custom interval, even that is possible before adding the device into the system. I can also do a bulk add where I can just select all the devices that have been discovered and I just click on add as source that will add all the six devices into the system. I can also uh, bulk edit and add, like I can go ahead and change the collector VM, right? So suppose I want to assign this discovered device to a different collector to split the device monitoring workload across multiple collectors. I can do that as well. Or say I want to change the polling intervals uh, instead of using the 10 minutes default thing, I can change it like once a week or uh, I can change those options available as well here. Or maybe I want to add an additional node section here before even saving the system into the uh, device into the system. Yeah. So once we have done these changes, you can go ahead and add, and that's going to add all these devices into the uh, RIA networks for monitoring. So this is all I wanted to cover as part of the demo on the network auto discovery. So start using the network discovery capabilities to discover those uh, missing network elements within the network. It will also help speed up addition of network elements and also address gaps that are identified in the network map. For more information, detailed videos, and blogs about all ARIA Suite products, please visit apps-cloudmanagement.techzone.vmware.com or simply scan the QR code to learn more.